average about 500 to 1,000 followers a week on Instagram in 2019. Let's just grow that account. This is the part two edition for part one, which I filmed about a week ago, depending on when you watch this. So if you haven't checked that out, the link will be in the description below or up there. So definitely see that before you continue seeing this. Let's go. What's up everyone, Sean Azar here, founder of Creative Ad Agency Breakthrough Social where I've helped multiple brands with their content development, content strategy, influencer campaigns, and everything in between to increase their brand awareness and ultimately in sales. Thanks for tuning in, we're gonna get right into this. We're continuing from our last video where we talked about some of the tips and strategies that we've been doing going into 2019 and continue to do so that helped a lot of the clientele and the brands and the people that I work with and as a team that have helped them grow so you could take these tips and start implementing properly. And we're gonna talk about number five, which is collaborations. How you could leverage collaborating with other content creators and companies, brands, into growing your account. Two different ways of collaborating. First, other content creators that align with your brand. People that are doing the same thing as you. You wanna reach out to them, create content with them. You know, a, a very simple one is when you collaborate with like a, a lot of these people, people come up with giveaways. A giveaway could be, let's say, a thousand dollar gift card to Target, whatever your audience likes. But the giveaway needs to have some sort of strong incentive to have people enter it. You know, people don't like just following random people or, you know, engaging into someone's comments, tagging friends. If the prize isn't like really rewarding enough, it's great, there's something that they want. You know, they, they would love to enter and not feel embarrassed about it. Another way when you work with content creators is Let's say if you're a comedian or an aspiring entertainer, reach out to the similar people like yourself and come up with skits. I'm sure you see people like King Botch. She said, I want you to eat the booty like groceries. Man, we want the real story. I said, hello, she said goodbye. It's been a long You've heard of him, I'm sure you've seen him. Now he's a, an actor on TV, he has a couple Netflix series, Jake Paul, Logan Paul. A lot of these people, they met up with each other, start creating content with each other, collaborating, such that they started using that content on their platforms and started promoting it or using shout outs, using generic accounts to help promote their account when they were at such a low follower count, which helped them grow significantly. Plus they're really good entertainers, which helped them grow. But a similar aspect, similar mindset could also help with your brand as well if you do it right and it aligns with your brand. If that makes sense. Now, collaborating with brands. There are a lot of brands looking for content creators. For example, there's a makeup line called an Anesthesia Beverly Hills. They have about 18 million followers. Look for the content that they like, that they use, that they repost. Go buy their products, start creating content using their products, post on your social, send them the links. Hey, look, I'm using your stuff. Come up with a great caption, great content such that they look at it, the marketing director of their company looks at it like, oh, this is awesome content. They will reuse your content and even tag you such that you get additional exposure. See this happen with a lot of makeup artists. You could do this as an interior designer. Look for companies that need content and I'm telling you, there is a lot of companies out there that are looking for user generated content. That's content for them for free that you know back in the day they would pay so much money for where now you're creating the content for exposure in exchange they get content out of it so they'll give you the exposure, you're giving them the content. It works for both parties. So look for brands, there's tons of them out there that will align for your brand or business. Number six is running Facebook and Instagram ads on creatives that are not getting you to buy something initially. These are creatives that either entertain a potential audience that you're trying to acquire, a giveaway, a video that either is inspirational, valuable, meaning like a how-to piece of content that when you're running a Facebook ad campaign, you're reaching users that will love this how-to content. Like, oh wow, this is really quick, easy to learn, great content, let me follow that person. They have great, amazing content. So when you come up with these creatives, run Facebook ads across them, that gives you additional exposure across, if you run it on Instagram, Instagram users, and also Facebook users. Or you could just run it on Instagram. Later on, once you have people following you, they understand your business, they trust you, they love you, that you're giving them that piece of information, you could start running retargeted ads. They already know you, they're familiar with you. So here's some examples where I've done, even for my personal brand. Here's a short form, 
piece of video that where I take it out of a long form video, out of my vlog sometimes, where I tell a story. For instance, I created a video on how to eat in New York City for free, which generated about, I forgot about 100 follows, but I put a good amount of money in it. It was more for brand awareness. I got a lot of brands reaching out to me. Restaurants in New York City, which helped increase my exposure across more companies to work with. I've done it with New York City Hungry, where I've created videos, short form videos on restaurants and told a story about them. There was no call to action. There was no like buy one, get one free. It was a story. For instance, we've done, done one for sweet berry bowls. So you can see the engagement is pretty high. Promoted it, we gained awareness, we gained new users within the New Jersey and New York City area following the account. And number seven is giving back, giveaways. I've talked about them before, that hasn't changed. The only thing that has changed is now because Instagram advertising platform has matured in such a way that you can start promoting your giveaways to a targeted audience. If your giveaway is great, right? If it's a legit giveaway, it will run across a targeted audience that will attract new followers. We've done that for brands like Jonathan Y, Sweet Berry Lulz, where we're promoting something across a targeted audience that they would like Right? It could be a $50 or $60 sweet berry gift card where they get, you know, about like 10 free acai bowls, which is great for that targeted audience. Or a free set of table lamps or floor lamps for like Jonathan Y. We pick a random winner for those that enter. The contest rules usually require the user to follow the account, tag friends, and so forth, creating a dynamic effect. A lot of the results that you see in these insights, right? a little bit skewed to the lower end, meaning it's more than what the Instagram Insights actually says because those users that actually follow the account, they're tagging their friends, which Instagram doesn't incorporate in the analytics. So I would say it's a little bit more than uh, 1.5 times this number that you see. So Instagram giveaways, huge thing. Still very effective if you do it right. Sometimes you've got to work with other content creators. You can really come up with awesome giveaways. So that's 2019, man. All right, I hope you guys liked the video. I hope it was valuable. If you did, hit the thumbs up button. Uh, if you have any questions, leave in the comments below and hit the subscribe button for more videos like this. Stay tuned for more on my vlog, which I took a little bit of time off. Been documenting a lot, so I can't wait to incorporate a lot of things I've been documenting into the vlog, so check that out. You don't wanna miss it, and uh, I'll see you soon. Later. <laughs>